It's Philly and Boxing Team. Hey everybody, it's Billy, and this time I'm unboxing the BAM box for August 2016. The theme is crazy, and I've seen some stuff. I'm on the fence about some of the stuff I've seen, so we'll see. Uh, with the BAM box, once you open the box up, the first thing you get is a whole bunch of cards on the floor. Alright, as soon as I open up my BAM box, the first thing I have is the um, contest to enter to win a Hannibal Lecter full-size custom bust. I have a blue one-up card, which now they have this handy-dandy little thing here, tells me that I have an autograph. And I also got an instant winner uh, card. I've never gotten one of those before. Uh, this box is an instant winner. You have an extra autographed item inside, so that's cool. So when you open up the band box, the first thing other than the cards you get um, is the pin. And my pen is from Ace Ventura. I saw somebody else have a Cable Guy pen, so apparently they went with Jim Carrey themed pens this uh, this time. It's cool. I'd like to see what other if there's any other pens that they had, um, and see about that. I'm actually I really like this pen. Um, it's just Ace Ventura being real crazy looking. I like this better than I like the Cable Guy pen. I did not like the Cable Guy pen, so I was kind of upset about it, but did not realize they were doing different pens. So. Cable Guy pen. Alright, so the fan box opens funny, so we're going to open it this way now. Paper. So the first item we're going to do is this What's in a Box. Um, I've seen this because I watched an unboxing earlier because I couldn't help myself. Um, and I saw this and then decided I needed to stop. What's in the box? It's a doll head. This is obviously referencing the movie Seven. Um, it's, it's a fun gag, like a little cheap thing. Um, I don't see the collectability in it. I don't see um, the need to have one. It's funny, so there's that. I like that they pick seven. Who picks seven? I like the little stickers on the side, the hand, the fragile. That's kind of fun. It, the box is nice, but that <laughs> I really have no words. All right, that's probably the first negative thing I've ever said about Bandbox. I don't think I've ever said a negative thing, but that's probably the first negative thing I've ever said about them. Okay, the next thing we have in here is a Hannibal Lecter mask. Um, so I debated on whether or not I was actually going to put this on, and uh, yeah, it feels about as weird as I thought it was going to feel. Uh, fun item, but again, just like the box, I, I don't... For me, it doesn't do anything. Mostly because when I saw Silence of the Lambs, I was not really into the Hannibal Lecter character. I thought the Buffalo Bill character was far more interesting than Hannibal Lecter. So, I wonder if this is the extra item. Um, this is a, what does this say on the back? Bam, you now own a one-of-a-kind hand-painted sketch card by professional sketch card artist Bianca Thompson. And there's a signature on the back. I don't know if this is supposed to be someone. Um, if it is, I do not know who it is. But it's cool. It's you can definitely see the sketch and the hand drawing on it, and like the marker lines that are in there. It's pretty cool. And they've put it in this nice glass or plastic container. Her website's on the bottom there. If you're interested, I, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I think that's cool. I like that extra, that extra little touch. That's cool. Next we have Batman the Killing Joke. This is a um, record. At first I thought that this was um, going to be the Killing Joke like being read on vinyl, which, you know, you would think is weird. Um, it's not. I have like Plastic Man stories on vinyl. So it's, it, it used to be very common, I assume. No, this is um, Selections from the motion picture soundtrack. I did not realize that they had made this into a movie. For those of you who don't know, Batman the Killing Joke is uh, the like quintessential Joker story. It's super messed up. Um, it, it's, it, but it's also one of the most quintessential Batman stories as well. It's a huge juggernaut in comics. So there's two songs on this. It's a 45, it's a Bandbox exclusive. Um, 
And yeah, there's not really a whole lot more to say about it other than, you know, take it out and listen to it. I wonder... So sometimes when you get exclusive vinyl, you get different colors on your vinyl records. And I thought maybe this would be a different color. And I was wrong. It's black. Next up, we have a signed Harley Quinn print. Um, this is uh, not bad. This is actually pretty cool. It's got the uh, September 1992, which is when I think Harley Quinn first appeared. I want to say she first appeared on the TV series. I'm pretty sure that's correct. It's like a calendar. It's kind of like a pinup of Harley Quinn. I will say that I always like that Bambox signs and numbers. There's stuff that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it, make, it adds that limited exclusivity to it, which is all what Bambox is about. All right, my box has a autograph by the lady who plays Katana in Suicide Squad. I don't know her name. So it's pretty cool that they would have like a recent um, movie be featured in this and, and um, have an actress from that movie do a signing for it. So that's pretty cool. It's actually like really Suicide Squad heavy. Kind of like the rest of this month. All right. And, of course, the last thing that comes in every band box is the spoiler card. From the spoiler card, you can see that there are actually three different uh, Jim Carrey pins that you could have got. I'm pretty happy with getting the Ace Ventura one, although the mask one is pretty cool. There's also the custom Hannibal Lecter mask. There is the Batman the Killing Joke vinyl record. There's the What's in the Box box, which... I didn't like, but I'm sure somebody's going to get into. On the back side of the card, you see that there was another Harley Quinn print that we could have gotten. I'm assuming that my autograph swapped out for that. The autograph is by Karen Fukuhara. Uh, she played Katana in Suicide Squad, like I said. Um, I got this one. There were apparently two options, but I got this one. Uh, there was a uh, gray option for Harley Quinn. Um, that would have been cool to get. Yeah, it says uh, September 11, 1992, the date Harley Quinn first appeared in the animated series. So, hey, I knew that. And then there's the hand-drawn art um, sketch that I got uh, from Bianca Thompson. It does not say who that would be. I have no idea who, what character or person that's supposed to be. There was also a Harley Quinn comics. I didn't get a comic. So, I don't know if maybe that got swapped out for something, too. Overall, it's not a bad box. Um, it's definitely not my favorite band box that I've gotten, um, which is, you know, it's it's okay for band box because you're allowed to have months like this. You're allowed to have months where things don't go your way or things aren't necessarily perfect. Although if you ask people who get loot great, they would say that they have to be perfect all the time. So overall, band box you did, you did good. You, you got to the theme. And I have to say, I always really like that Bambox hits those franchises that not everybody's getting into. A seven item is crazy. Uh, there's Silence of the Lambs, which I think we only got once before. Three different Jim Carrey items. So I like that Bambox did that. That's awesome. So... Thank you, Bambox, for another wonderful month. Uh, I know that you guys do super hard work and you try really hard at making great boxes, so thank you so much. And until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you around.